hello guys good morning it is 9 51 and it's friday um i just woke up like you can tell uh, the guy is coming to do my covid test because i have to fly tonight at 3 a.m at 6 a.m so i don't know how i'm gonna get the results but i have to do the test anyway I'm gonna have a bath, blow dry my hair, pack my bag. It's a whole packing day today and clean the house a little bit before going. I mean, it's very clean already, but just, you know. Yeah, man, I'm quite sleepy actually, but I have to be up, so he's gonna come in a few minutes. What's happening, guys? hello guys i just had a shower i'm in my pj still because i love to wear pjs around the house um if i'm not filming and yeah i got this from west side if you're wondering it's an extra large i love all my nightwears to be extra extra large the largest size they have because i don't like fitted nightwear um i just had a hair shower i'm gonna do a fresh blow dry for the trip and i'm guessing that it's gonna be cold in Missouri and Rishikesh and all, like the north basically and it doesn't look good I'm gonna dry it out actually I'm sure you've seen this a thousand times so I'm not gonna show you how I do my hair but I'm doing this straight blowout with a slight bit of waves so I'm taking this one the systems professional reconstructive elixir it's almost over and I'm just going to run it through the bottom part okay now I can see all right it's this one in case you're wondering and it's almost over it's a really good oil very like thick and nourishing so i'm gonna use the dyson today there's a pigeon in akhil's room Oh my god, he's sitting on the bookshelf. <laughs> Sweetie! How do you make a pigeon fly? I don't want him to get scared of me, you know. He's thinking, which book should I read? Wow, there's so many of them. <laughs> Oops, it just has to take a U-turn and just go out there. Come on! Okay, so my bag is packed almost. I'm carrying one sling and one extra carry bag if we travel intercity. This is my toiletries. That's my makeup bag. I got this from Miniso. That's my underwear. Look at this. How neat am I? Hello? I'm <laughs> proud of myself. Okay, so here we have all my tops no that's my tops these are my home stuff like in the villa i'll be wearing like track pants pajamas everything this is like a hoodie this is a coordinate set this is like a thermal wear and track pant so yeah that is my clothes and all i have left is shoes and hair tools which is right here so I'm taking this straightener, I'm taking this curler and this curling mousse. Okay, so it's time to pack my backpack. Backpacks are really important to me. Um, this one's gotten a little dirty because it's like suede, you know, and I have to put it for wash. But this is my like daily backpack stuff when I go for shopping, I have all my sanitary pads, etc. Like everything I'd ever need. I got this bag from Lavi. Um, this was an emergency impulse purchase because there was no other backpack I could find that was cute and I needed it like a size or two bigger than this one because not all my shit fits here and yeah I think it's pretty cute I got it on sale it was 2600 bucks or something so that's not bad temporarily they have a pouch too so for temporary use I think it's good it's cute for my airport look and then it's got thin straps as well which I like usually backpacks like so, so big have like really thick straps and i don't like that it's got a pocket over here it's got a zip right here so i like bags with a lot of compartments it becomes easier for me to segregate my things now i carry all medicines i carry everything it's a total mom bag okay but i feel sure i picked this up for my mom 
and 99% of the times I don't use any of it that's in my backpack and always I'm like do I need to carry so much stuff and then when I do carry less stuff I was like um shit my head hurting I feel like my head hurting do you have a crow scene I'm like damn it I didn't carry it you know so there's always something or the other sometimes people need people around me and me <laughs> so I tend to pack like that yeah. these are like soap strips do you remember soap strips this was back in school um, we used to carry this when you know we used to go to the bathroom and they're tiny little soap strips that when you run it under water it becomes nice and foamy and you can get your hands clean I don't know I'm just carrying it you know not everywhere they have liquid soap and then I'm carrying a couple of ice break icebreakers mint wintergreen this is a decent flavor usually I don't like mint but this is not bad and then I'm carrying my Smashbox primer water which I need at all times because I'm a very dry face and this is travel size so that's good lots of tissue packets which I'm gonna go to the store down and buy some stuff snacks and things so tissue packets for sure and I'm gonna carry one napkin then I carry these creams that I need so I'm I think I'm gonna carry the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Face Space. It's super hydrating, so anytime I feel like I need to moisturize, I have this tiny little moisturizer right here, which I'm gonna throw in. I'm carrying this Jo Malone perfume. Okay, this is the lavender and coriander perfume. Wow, what a combination. It smells really good, actually. So I'm carrying this just in case you wanna freshen up during travel. You never know of someone's thoughts on the plane. Okay, and then you have a uh, face wash. I know it's not an international flight. I carry all of this when I'm traveling internationally, but I don't know. I'm carrying Vicks Vaporu, okay, Vapor Rub, uh, because this is for Akhil. He gets really stuffy nose sometimes, so I like to be packing this stuff. And a packet of gems. Oh, oh. And these are my emergency hoops. Okay, in case I don't have jewelry, I forgot my jewelry, which I did forget to pack. I, al I always have these hoops. Hoops always look good. So I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put this in my luggage, actually. Sanitizer. Yes, we need the sanitizer. So I'm carrying uh, the Mama Earth sanitizer. Um, Jake gave this to me, so I'm carrying that. I have my AirPods with me right here. And then, of course, we have one emergency lipstick. MAC Meher always travels with me and one driver's seat lipstick and one Vaseline in case I lose my 3000 Vaseline that I'm already carrying you know so now that that is fit right in there all my stuff I have a lot of space so I'm taking this MAC pouch and this is my medicine pouch okay I'm carrying some band-aids okay then Eno of course I'm gonna go buy more Eno because we need Eno, okay? We're like 28 now, baby. Then we have Crocin, we Lose Motion, Combi Flam, Painkiller. We've got Dolo 650 right here. We have Strepsils for bad throat and this for if you're low on energy. So we've got everything we require. Always, always, always be packing medicines. Any country you go, anywhere you go because you don't know what you're gonna, you know, go through while traveling. Okay, guys, so I have actually found a hack uh, to clean your sneakers so I have these white sneakers that are quite dirty and I want to wear them for the airport tonight and I found a hack I believe alcohol can clean anything like rubbing alcohol acetone so I have this nail polish remover by OPI I mean any nail polish remover will do and it does the trick like the emergency cleanup you know when you don't have time to wash your shoes and if you gotta go to work just take a cotton pad like this dunk it twice Guys, we're in Uttarakhand. Yeah, that's right. Hi, that accent. Uttarakhand. Why? Just for fun. We're in Dehradun. We just landed and we're heading to Masuri now. Hello, 
guys, we halted for breakfast at Shivalik Cafe and Maggie Point. So. Guys, like I cannot escape it basically. Hey guys, good evening. It's around I think 6 o'clock or something and my view is unreal. Like, oh my god. Hello? How beautiful is that? Like, we slept. At least I slept because we were up since 3 a.m. like 4 a.m. and hadn't slept all night till we got to the place so I mean you know breaking the sleep everywhere but we had to sleep my head is really really splitting right now we were supposed to go out and explore Masuri but I don't think we can because uh, it's already getting dark and we wanted to see the sunset oh my god look at this man I what is that oh my my the mountains and oh look at this it's gorgeous the set and what a beautiful beautiful view so yeah i don't think we're gonna go out today we're gonna stay in i'm <laughs> freezing um yeah i just woke up i'm gonna maybe get some chai very thirsty all right guys, I will catch up with you later. <laughs> go? So, we have to climb a lot. Our room is very far from the reception. And it's unbelievably exhausting because it's so cold oh my god this is like the only part i regret come on think of breakfast let's get that egg oh. Skin, please some animal want me <laughs> I'm like in this phase where I need some animal to just love me hi guys it's our second day and he's listening to music dressed super stylishly and we're going to check out some potential wedding spots yeah so 
I don't know, we're just looking around and seeing if this is the place for us because we really, really love it. Looking for myself, I'm staring at the shadow. I'm not gonna be safe. Hi, I'm getting through tomorrow. When I pull me down, you can lead no. me to the side. Don't leave you're still me. raising me up. But when I look inside, Papadi chaat. This is like the street food vibes here. It's late in the night, almost like 10, I guess, so not that late. Chal? You have this. <laughs> it, what is this? This is Alu chaat. Looks amazing. This is aloo chaat. Yeah, let's mm. try it. So oh, good piece. Do you like it? You have. Hum khare, hum khare, ek Hi guys, good morning. 
it's day three and uh, we're heading to this place called Landor in Masuri. It's very famous. I'm sure lots of you know this place. So we're just going to explore, stay there for a few hours. So it's 12 o'clock right now, like 12, 13 in the afternoon. And we all had a really um, tiring day yesterday. You guys saw the street food, the roaming around. It was almost like 10, 11 hours. So we slept well, we just had a great breakfast and now we're about to explore Landor. I just got ready, I wore these trousers and this turtleneck, both from Zara. This is from H&M, this is from some random store, but yeah, I just did a light face of makeup because we're gonna take some photos, I hope today, because we didn't get a chance to do it. Like, you know, we just took selfies and stuff. So I'm hoping we get good pictures, but that's the plan for today. We're gonna head out. Um, so come on, let's go. I remember her. I remember her. I remember her. I remember her. But it's full. So we're waiting. What's up? Hi. Hi, Karan. Hello. Hi, Prachi. We're waiting for the bakery to open. I mean, this, you know, it's full because it's a good bakery.
just left for Kanatal. It was a hectic morning. We got massages and that was awesome. Yeah. So sleepy. <laughs> it is, it's um, 12 o'clock but yeah. Hi guys, we just stopped for the view and to get something to eat. The barren land in the middle of nowhere, that's our tempo traveler. That's how, it's so, so, so deep. And that's Malvika's future house. Yeah, that is girl. Yes, guys. What the hell? A kill eagle or something? Oh wow, that is a mountain eagle right there. That's See? A legit zoom into it. No, I can't. It's too far. Now it's gonna come up here. Right Muntan eagle. What eagle? Muntan. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that now. Ooh, shit. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god. That's incredible. Are you kidding? No. Hi guys, so we just reached Kanatal. Kanatal? Kanatal? I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, and we're staying at a Vista Villa. Yeah, I mean, it's the complete villa to ourselves. We just got here and the view is amazing. Of course, I'm going to show you. And this is the entire villa. Looking for myself, I'm staring at my shadow. I'm not going to be safe in getting through tomorrow. प्राची क्या बोलना है तुझे? अरे आप लोग लोग क्यों? कूल। सब चोर लोग हैं इधर, चोर लोग हैं सब इधर। तेरे साथ, who is the mafia? I'm telling you it's Jimin or Karan, for sure. Every round you are wrong, right? You okay? I am not it, but you can go ahead. She's very different if she's a villager. She is a I know, I know it. I can feel it. I'm not Chanel. I'm not you. I'm not Chanel. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not Good morning guys, it's 3rd March and it is around 10.30. I slept at 
30 and woke up at 9. I don't know, my eyes just opened up. And yeah, we are awake and good to go. I just sat out in the sun taking all the vitamin D possible. So everyone's waking up slowly, slowly. And um, I showered really early in the morning and it's so cold still. My hands are like jam gaya hai mere heart. Like, you know, it's one of those things. Um, we were sitting next to the wood fire thing yesterday like y'all saw and it was so good i don't know what's up with my hair actually it's a little bit off i want to say five days since i had a hair shower and you know i'm not about to sit and blow dry my hair i don't even have anything i just have my iron and my curler but um i'm gonna have a hair shower once i'm back um uh, we're going to i think a safari i think and i don't know what we're gonna see exactly but i guess some animals it's really famous here so we're gonna have some breakfast, do that, and then come back to the villa, chill. This villa is actually pretty, pretty gorgeous. Um, it's quite big and the ceilings are so high. It's ideally what we'd like our room to look like at some point in life. Um, but yeah, it's been great so far. Tomorrow we leave for Rishikesh, so it's just one more night we have here. So yeah, I'm gonna take you onto the safari and show you what we see, if we see anything. the safari uh we just got ready i'm dressed in complete nude beige beige tones gray tones as usual <laughs> um my hair hasn't been washed in five days i was telling you and i'm gonna use the batiste shampoo this is the uh mini size that i've carried with me it's a coconut exotic tropical flavor and it's yum fragrance my hair is oily on my scalp so i'm just going to just till i'm back you know so it's not flat when I'm taking cute pictures. So you want to lift your hair, rub some dry shampoo on it, let it soak up the oil. And by the time I'm back, I'll just have a shower, you know, and then get rid of all of the product. So the products in my hair, only dry shampoo. I've not put anything else. The outfit, wearing boots, gray pants, beige top and beige coat, of course. And so why are you moving on? Someone told me that I could find it I will find my way Gotta keep looking If it's not fair Gotta go again We still get over it Cause when I look aside She's always by my side She guides me With the sign And light me Who is on your head? Who is on your head? Who is on your head? उसके बाद जहाँ पे पेड़ के ऊपर जहाँ क्लाउड है ना यहाँ पे चौखम भाई भी क्लाउड से ढक रखी हो तो चौखम भाई उसके बाद जस्ट लेफ्ट में आओ तो मेरु सुमेरु यहाँ आपका केदारनाथ मंदिर है फिर वाइट साल पेस दिख रहा है ये ये गोमु ग्लेशियर है इसके जो ऊपर वाली पहाड़ी हैं वो भागरेती वन और टू है बंदर पूंछ जो है यमुनोत्री मंदिर के ऊपर है उसके लेफ्ट चलते चलते जाएंगे तो लेफ्ट में पूरा हिमालय ले रहा जाता है वो कांग्रा धर्मशाला शिमला से ऊपर दिखता है ना वो ले रहा है पूरे हिमालय का अच्छा टाइम टू गो फॉर्डर एंड सी सम एनिमल्स अभी क्या देखेंगे हम देखो जी अभी मोमेंट को The road is crazy. I'm not done. I just want me to find it. Cause I'm not done. I just want me to find it. everyone we're back from the safari and we didn't see shit like literally oh didn't see anything no animal whatsoever 
it's quite a useless trail um, I don't recommend the safari but I do in the morning they say if you come at 6 a.m. you'll see like a lot of deers and stuff it's 2 30 but they didn't warn us like you won't see anything they didn't tell us that they just took us and nothing we just went and saw trees and came back so that's the update um, really not the best So the pasta you saw me eat, I didn't eat it. I returned the whole dish back and it was not good. I didn't enjoy it so I sent it back. And then I ordered a veg grill sandwich because I thought that would be good but it was really bad as well. Um, so yeah, I don't recommend this place. This is Club Mahindra in um, Kanata. And people have recommended to eat here. I don't know for what reason. But um, yeah, it's so expensive. It's like 600 bucks a dish and it's so tasteless and not a good experience. I'm still very hangry because I didn't eat anything. Returned two dishes and just like starving. I guess I'll go back to the villa. They make such tasty food. Um, it's just my suggestion because I know a lot of you go to a lot of the places that I recommend and I don't want you to come here and waste your money. Um, yeah, uh, most of my friends ate because they ordered but they're not happy as well so just wanted to let you know. Uh, we're heading back to the villa and I'm really excited because I want to just get into my PJs and just like sit next to the fire, so pretty. Baggy! Finally back home we're playing Mono Deal. Yay! He's burning the fire now. The fireplace. Mm. Hey guys, good morning. It is 4th March and it is almost 10 a.m. I am packed and ready to go. I'm wearing the turtleneck again because I'm freezing and there has been no electricity since last night. It's been running on an inverter or generator uh, where there's just few lights and you know the heater was completely not working and so like. I was freezing and the reason why is because there was such heavy winds yesterday something happened I don't know it was literally like there was a ghost outside it was so loud and it was so windy everything was flying away and it was really cold and because of that the electricity sort of conked off um, so we were sitting next to the wooden like fire and you know but the rooms don't have fire <laughs> so the heater was off and everything but um, they're pretty thick blankets, so I think we were good there, but right now in the morning also it's so chilly I'm sitting next to the Sun like you can see and trying to like warm my feet and hand um, My fingers get really cold So the update is that we are going to Rishikesh, which is our last stop for this trip uh, And I'm actually excited to be going home in the next two days <laughs> So I ate my breakfast. I think my stomach is a little upset, you know, with all the food. I need to like just relax and give my stomach a detox and eat something light. Um, we're all packed, ready to go in the next two hours, like around, I think one o'clock. Yeah, I wanna say one with all the stops and everything. We reach Rishikesh and then start our next journey. So yeah, I will catch you guys there. Yeah, we just got in. Uh, felt really, really, really motion sick all through. Like, I literally wanted to puke. Like, all of us were feeling sick. Um, so we stopped a lot in the middle and uh, we just got in time for lunch. Um, the weather is ideal. It's like Bombay. <laughs> this is the view from our room. Not much, but, you know, something. Hello guys, we're in Rishikesh now. We've reached, we ate some lunch and we're heading out in a bit. I don't know where we're going, so I'll let you know when I get to know. We're just trying to get everybody into the vehicle so we can leave. So yeah, I'm breaking out now. Like look at this, look at this, like a couple of breakouts. My skin is like, girl, I'm done. Okay, I need a, a face clean up and yeah, it's kind of, because it's really dry because of the winter um, we spent four days it was so cold like all of my nose and everything so dry 
um now we came here to like a bombay weather so sudden changes are yeah causing my skin to look really dry mommy so that's the update and just one two days today and tomorrow left before we go to mumbai so i'm going to update you as to where we're going That is Nimbu Pani. This is Goti Soda. Oh yum! Mine's yummy. It's refreshing. Mine's the best. Oh, no. It's just yeah, it's really refreshing. But uh, the hers is yum. I have a masala. Yum, yum, yum. What is? For seventy bucks.
that cafe. Um, we went to Shanti Shanti but did not enjoy the food that much. Um, so yeah, we've come just next door and the view from every cafe is the same so I keep showing you the same thing. But we ordered some food hope, hoping it would be good. So see this is the view. Again, I think every place is located here only for the view of the Ganga. Ganga view. Ganges. Sky with you Getting high in the sunrise with you Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing now I do And I wish that I could do this Hi guys, we're at, uh, yeah, now we can go to ashram. I don't know, random street, Antalya by Divine Ganga Cottage place and dude all the bathrooms in every cafe I've been to from Masuri has sucked. I'm sorry but if you live here I apologize but oh my god what is with the public bathrooms in India? If any of us get a UTI, it's because of these bathrooms. It's so bad. But it's like you set out for the day, you've got to pee, right? Even the best of the best cafes have such shit bathrooms. I'm sorry, I'm a little like mad right now because none of the bathrooms I've been to have been clean. And they need to up their hygiene factor, man. This is ridiculous. They just, I don't know, is it too many people? But even America has too many people. But Europe... Wherever we have gone, it's always been so clean. Like they've always had someone to take care of it. Yeah, none of the cafe bathrooms over here were good. They were so bad, oh my God. Why? This should be an important topic to discuss, right? This should be important that people should know. Guys, you need to carry your own tissues. Please never use the public bathroom tissues ever. You don't know how long they've been sitting. There's peace platter on them. Yuck, 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 you have no idea, right? Never, never use the tissue rolls in the public bathrooms and carry like your own tissues, your own pee safe spray or whatever, but never sit on the commode. Like wow, right? Very vintage and woody. Yeah, the bathroom is vintage. They've not washed it since 1980, I think. We're all cramped up in a rickshaw. Conte. I will leave the name in the bottom bar. If you're ever in Rishikesh, this is such a good Italian place for Amazing. pizzas, pastas. They only have pizza pasta, but the best ever. So definitely check them out. Hey guys, so it is very late actually, it's around I think 12 um, and we're just hanging out playing Mafia. Man, it's become the game of the gang, like I swear, <laughs> we play it every night. And yeah, today's the last day, we're heading out tomorrow really early in the morning. We're waking up at 6am, the flight's at 9am, but I'm glad, I think we'll get the whole day, like the entire Saturday and Sunday to detox before I begin my working week. 
so yeah i guess this is it i guess this is the end of the vlog i ended up looking like this <laughs> but yeah i'm feeling really comfy and it's slightly cold we're just gonna hang out on the terrace so thank you so much for watching this entire travel vlog i wasn't going to vlog it but i'm so glad i did and you guys came with me on a journey i love you so so much um i will leave most of the cafe names and everything in the link down below or on the screen so you can check it out and if you ever visit these places i highly recommend these places and cafes they're so good um yeah thank you so much i love you and i will see you in my next travel vlog bye